I'm gonna be wasted in five minutes. Hi, what's up? I'm Fletcher and I am taking cheap shots with Cosmo. To the internet, we're drinking. That's the cheap, that was the cheap shot. I do love a good cheap shot every once in a while, yeah. It's just like shitty well tequila. Feels like a Jersey dive bar to me. Like the Jersey trash that I am. <laughs> In round one, I will be taking shots at myself. The drinks are vodka tonics, four regulars, and one is spiked with a shot of cheap ass vodka. Question one. You have a song called Serial Heartbreaker. What's the worst way you've broken up with someone? I was on tour and I was in another country and we had a sort of FaceTime breakup. And I was like, mm, let's not, let's never do that again. Which isn't the best and never ideal, but that happened. You told Zach Sang that you wouldn't date yourself. I would never date myself. <laughs> really? Interesting. No. What's your most toxic trait? Dating another songwriter where all they do is like write about their feelings and experiences. It gives me so much anxiety. Like I could never date me for that reason and other reasons too. My discography is sometimes giving toxicity, babe. So, <laughs> is that an acceptable answer? I feel like you should maybe take a shot. All right, fine, I'll take a shot. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, it's not terrible. No, it's not the shot. Okay, cheers. <laughs> In your new song, Doing Better, you say, you'll never see me take the high road. What's the pettiest thing you've done to an ex? Write a song about how hot her girlfriend was. <laughs> I think that's pretty petty. Do we accept that answer? Yes. Do you hear from them ever? I've heard from a few people that I've written some songs about. I got a few texts. And I'm like, let's let's talk. Let's talk it out. <laughs> Question four. Name one lie you've told to the public and explain why you lied about it. A pretty open book. I feel like anything that's, I write about everything so specifically. I don't know if I can come up with an answer for that. So maybe I'll just have to take a drink. Okay. I don't know, I can't think of a lie. I have a song called Guess We Lied. Oops, okay, cheers. That was also not the cheap shot. I'm getting lucky today, queens. No cheap shots up here. Okay. Question five. You've been applauded by your fans for normalizing being messy in a relationship. Is there one song you regret writing or think you went too far on? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. The song that I wrote called Becky So Hot, which I wrote about an ex-girlfriend of mine, girlfriend at the time, being attractive. And then I wrote a follow-up song to that called Doing Better, which is now on my newest album, In Search of the Antidote. And it's kind of a reflection of that time in my life, being like really chaotic and messy. I was getting to perform at all these cool places. And yeah, I performed on stage with Miley Cyrus, which was the most amazing thing ever, but it was a bigger reflection on that period in my life of just like, I think we took things too far. We're growing, we're healing, we're learning, we're doing our best out here, and I've definitely taken things too far. Round one, complete. Round two is time shots. I will have 30 seconds to get these trivia questions about myself right, otherwise I have to take a shot. The drinks are margaritas, and one is mixed with bottom shelf tequila. Question one, your new song is titled Doing Better. Name five songs that have the word better in the title. Better version by Fletcher. <laughs> uh, you probably think that you are better now. Better, better now, Post Malone. Um, better. Better, <laughs> something better is coming to me. Um, that, I literally cannot think of a single song I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm under pressure now. Oh. We've got I Like Me Better by Better by Khalid, Better Off by Ariana Grande. I like me. I like me better when I'm with you. So I got two, one of them was mine. <laughs> Jail immediately. This deserves a shot. Okay. Ooh, that was good. Not the cheap shot. Ugh, okay, no cheap shots. All right, 
What song did your group Lakota Rain sing for your last week on X Factor? Uh, was it, you can, You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. Yes, come on, let's go. She's been a Swifty, folks. Taylor's narrated like so many of my breakups through life. And then I wrote a song about it called Eras of Us because I saw my ex at her concert. It was our first time seeing each other since the day we broke up. And then, yeah, woke up to a bunch of videos and viral TikToks of us hugging for the first time. So, of course, only at a Taylor Swift concert would that happen. Okay. Your video for Becky So Hot was nominated for Push Performance of the Year at the 2023 VMAs. Name five other artists who were nominated. Renee Rapp. <laughs> Just Renee Rapp and Renee Rapp and Renee Rapp. <laughs> Our queen and savior, Renee Rapp. Who's the only one who was nominated. I, I don't know, I need to drink. <laughs> Oh no, this feels like the cheap shot. Was that the cheap shot? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. We've got Saucy Santana, Steven Sanchez, Jake, Lil Moe, Sam Ryder, Armani White, Ice Spice, Lo, and Lauren Spencer Smith. Oh, Lauren Spencer Smith, Ice Spice, also Queens. You attended Tisch School of the Arts at New York University. Name five other celebs who went there. I believe Maggie Rogers. Well, I know Maggie Rogers went to Tisch School of the Arts. Um, Cami Mendez went to Tisch School of the Arts. Um, 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 Lauv went to NYU. Lady Gaga? Uh, yes, 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 me. <laughs> okay. You appeared as yourself in the season three of the L Word Generation Q. In the episode, what did you say after you finished your performance? I said, it's the kind of sapphic chaos I live for. Correct. Honestly, it's the kind of sapphic chaos I live for. It's the truth. Would you do more acting? I would absolutely do more acting. Someone cast me in something. I don't want to play myself. I'm tired of me. I would like to be someone else. <laughs> What's your dream role? My dream role? I have an obsession with Jennifer Lawrence. I don't care what it is. I just, I want to be in a film with her. If I were to have somebody that also were to play the role of me, I would pick her. I just am obsessed with her. So, somebody put me in a movie with Jennifer Lawrence, please. <laughs> Round two, complete. Round three, the category is cheap shots. I will be taking cheap shots at everyone. The drinks are martinis, four made with top shelf gin, and one is mixed with a $10 bottle. Question one, name one celebrity you have muted on Instagram and explain why. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I'm drinking. That's the cheap, that was the cheap shot, wasn't it? That's not the cheap shot. It's delicious. That was really good. I love to thank you guys so much. I'm having really a good time. Good morning. You competed on X Factor as a member of the group Lakota Rain. Rank the following X Factor groups from most to least talented. Fifth Harmony, One Direction, and Little Mix. What? From least to most talented? I don't think I can do this. They're all so talented. Everybody's talented, everybody's hot, everybody's cool. Like, I'm obsessed with Fifth Harmony. I can't do this. Cheers! Oh, this is gonna be a weird day. This is cheap shot, this is the cheap shot. That was the cheap shot, wasn't it? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. How did that taste? Garbage, absolute, like, like it was a cheap shot. All right. You've met many celebs throughout your years in the music industry. Name one who slid into your DMs and tell us what they said. I was recently DMing um, with Carol G, one of the hottest women on the planet. She like had posted something about one of her shows and I had congratulated her and 
um, yeah, we've just had like a cute little DM exchange and I'm obsessed with her and I think she's really beautiful and has like the sweetest, softest energy. So give me a call, Carol. <laughs> The internet loves to ship you and other artists in the hopes of a romantic relationship. Name one you wish would actually come true. I, I feel like I can't put myself on one that I would a wish would actually come true. Uh, I need to take it. I need to drink. I can't expose my crush on on the, to the internet. We're drinking. Yeah, I gotta play it cool. We're taking a drink. That wasn't the cheap one though, I already drank the cheap one. Well, we're pretty take, how am I, I'm gonna be wasted in five minutes. All right. Oh God, you guys are killing me with these questions. Oh. Okay, rank the following collabs from your favorite to least favorite and explain your reasoning. Silence, which Luna did a remix of. Better version featuring Kelsey Ballerini and Cherry featuring Haley Kiyoko. So Silence would be number three because I wasn't in the studio with Muna at the time when we did that remix. So I like love to just like be in the studio with people. The second would be, would be Cherry featuring Haley Kiyoko, which I love that song so much, but better version with Kelsey would be first. Better Version is one of my favorite songs I've ever written. And I just have a really specific memory of getting to play that song for Kelsey. And we were in her Jeep in Nashville and I played her my album at the time. And I played her Better Version and she was like, yeah. She was like, this one, I love this one. And then we got to make a music video together and all the things. So I think it was just the most um, wholesome and fulfilling collaboration that I've ever had. Yeah, Better Version is number one. We are currently rocking a buzz. I would say we're at a three and a half out of 10. Mild, subtle, but it feels, yeah, not bad. It feels kind of good. Thank you guys so much for watching me on Cheap Shots. My album, In Search of the Antidote, just came out. So go give it a listen. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon.